What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this really, really interesting R-Pod by Forest River. I mean, check this thing out. This is a new 2024 model, and there's a lot to look at. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, let's kick this off by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So it's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,884 pounds, gross vehicle weight rating of 5,220 pounds, a dry weight of 3,319 pounds, and a length of 17 feet six inches. And it's gonna ride on one axle that's rated at 4,870 pounds. These are some odd ratings that they're putting on axles these days. Whatever happened to like that 5,000 pound rated axle? We're gonna take a look inside of this unit and then we'll come back out. But before we look inside, let me show you what's going on here. Check out this Kurt suspension that is on this unit. This is really cool. And you know, for those of you who are looking at the RV industry as like everything coming out of Elkhart, everything coming out of Indiana is junk. You gotta see stuff like this because this is absolutely not a junk suspension. They're doing a lot of good things here. A lot of really, really thick heavy gauge steel and they're putting it on a mainstream brand. They're putting it on a Forest River R-Pod, which is a very popular brand. So it's cool to see this type of technology making its way in the industry onto more mainstream products. Anyways, let's hop inside of this unit and we'll come back out so as we come around you can kind of see the suspension here again stabilization jacks we're gonna step inside of this R pod RP 153 153 as Dell on board composite sidewall panel basically won't dry rot won't delaminate well hopefully it won't delaminate as long as they've done it correctly but good material all right this is very interesting because as you saw, we entered through the back of this RV and typically there would be a door somewhere on this side. So this is gonna be a very different type of floor plan and one that probably most people haven't seen before. Very cool. So check out this bed, looks to be a queen size bed. I love the fact that they have that acrylic window up front here. So you can see how you can open it from all the corners. That's gonna be a dual pane window as well but it is great to see these acrylic style windows making their way onto US manufactured products. You're starting to see that a lot in the Overland community and I'm sure this R-Pod is kind of the mainstream brand that's there to kind of compete against that, but it is cool to see. On the side, you can see more traditional windows. You already got your TV mounted in place over here. Have a lot of ceiling height in here. I mean, the ceiling is probably upwards of six foot five, so you can be pretty dang tall and still fit in this R-Pod as long as you don't hit the Coleman mock air conditioning unit up here. Now, one criticism that I have against this unit so far is the fact that they are using pleated blinds. To me, this doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense considering they have an upgraded acrylic window, they have the upgraded suspension. If you wanna black this unit out, you don't really have the means of doing it. These are only gonna provide like a fair amount of, of shade, but it's not really gonna block all the light out completely. But this is definitely one of those areas I think they probably should have put a blackout blind here instead of a pleated blind. Okay, so as we look through here, this floor plan is really cool because it includes everything. It's very compact, yet you still have a bathroom, which we'll look at in a second. Here's the sink, one huge tinted dark stainless steel sink, nice upgraded faucet here. I really love that copper tone that they use right here. You have a Suburban two burner gas cooktop. Let's look at the price because it's right here. So this has an MSRP of $41,398 and an asking price of $24,908, which, I mean, that's a huge discount. I mean, this is, in my opinion, a pretty dang fair price for this unit because of what you're getting. Solar on board. I don't know how much solar this is gonna have, so we might have to look up top to see it. It'll probably be on the invoice here as well, so we'll take a look at that also. So according to information here, you have a 30 amp charge controller, 2000 watt inverter, and this is part of the beast mode package. Let's see here, large solar panel. I don't know what that means. So we definitely have to look to see what large solar panel means. I'm assuming it's probably a 200 watt panel, but it may be like a three or 400 watt panel, who knows? Down here you have your microwave oven, and this is a convection microwave oven as well. That's very nice, plus your road vac basically a centralized vacuum system. One cabinet here and no drawers. You know, I almost feel there could have been 
a little bit more storage like that somewhere in here. Now, under the seat or under the dinette area, you have some space. When this is all flipped up, you have an area to put a table in between and you can do dinner right there. So that's a good spot. But the only other storage is really on this side underneath here. And then you have some storage up here. So you have your cabinets up here. You know what? I would have preferred drawers right here. So just put like three drawers right there and then this would have been all your cabinet storage. So this will convert into a bed pretty easily. Underneath it is just the seat area because your storage is right there. You have your fuses and breakers down there and you have your Norcold 12 volt refrigerator right here. Nope, this is a gas electric refrigerator. So this is the Norcold Polar gas electric. Freezer up top. Over here, you have your bathroom. Good sized medicine cabinet. This is a plastic toilet. Reasonable size shower. I love the fact that they put the shower miser in here as well. Basically a way for you to recirculate the water through the system until it heats up so you don't have to worry about it getting cold and wasting that water whenever you first turn it on and waiting for it to get hot. This is actually a little more complex than people think because they have to run a line all the way back to the tank to make that work. Here's your 30 amp, this is a PWM solar charge controller. All right, all right, let's step out of this unit, check out the outside and see if we can peek on top real quick. All right, so starting from the front, working our way back, we have a power front tongue jack. We have a spot for one 20 pound propane can, spot for two batteries up here. You have your power disconnect right here to prevent parasitic draws whenever it's in storage. And you have your TPMS, your tire pressure monitoring system booster right there. You have scissor jacks all the way around as well. Good, solid pass-through storage. So you have a good amount of space in here. It's not terribly wide though, so you might have a little trouble fitting like wider chairs, things like that in. Again, Asdell sidewall construction. You have a spray port right here, 110 jack right here. This is gonna be the outside of your furnace. This is gonna be the back of your refrigerator. Tubular bumper to throw your sewer hose in. More I'd step above steps. LED lighting, it is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. This is gonna be your 30 amp connection right here. Satellite connection out here, black tank flush, sewer drains. Really good looking wheels. These are gonna be the Westlake tires, not a bad tire. So this is a tire that's very common on off-road inspired RVs. Here's your water heater. This is where you fill your fresh water up. This is gonna be your city water connection, and this is the other side of that pass-through storage. What do you guys think? This is a pretty cool, compact unit. There's a lot of things I like about it. This thing is very towable by a lot of vehicles, including most half-ton trucks, most full-size SUVs, maybe a few mid-size SUVs, but this is definitely something a little bit more on the compact side, and it still gives you all your amenities. So you have a full kitchen, you have a full bathroom, full shower, as well as queen size sleeping accommodations. Anyways guys, please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this unit. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.